Welcome to our online reviewer for fisheries professionals. Our topic is fish processing technology. Are you ready? But first, click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Principle employed in fish curing. A. Removal of water to a point where microorganisms cannot grow and multiply. B. Addition of preservatives introduced or produced during the curing process. C. Inactivation of enzymes. D. All of the above. Answer is D. All of the above. Fish curing is defined as the method of preserving fish by means of salting, drying, smoking and pickling. It is recommended for lean fish due to oxidation problems in fatty fish. A. Dry salting. B. Brining. C. Pickle curing. D. None of the above. Answer is A. Dry salting comprises a wide range of materials that can be molded, cast, extruded or laminated into various shapes. It is manufactured from petroleum, natural gas and coal. A. Plastics. B. Wood. C. Rubber. D. Steel. The answer is. A. Plastics. It is a process where fish is exposed to wood smoke until it is golden brown. A. Drying. B chilling. C. Smoking. D. Smudging. The answer is C. Smoking. An illness caused by ingesting shellfish contaminated with domoic acid, a marine toxin produced by nits shapungens. A. Diuretic shellfish poisoning. B. Amnesic shellfish poisoning. C. Neurotoxic shellfish poisoning. D. Paralytic shellfish poisoning. Answer is B. Amnesic shellfish poisoning. Symptoms differ considerably from slight nausea and vomiting to loss of equilibrium and central neural deficiency as well as confusion and memory loss. First reported on 1987, in Prince Edward Island, Canada. It is the time taken to reduce the temperature of fish flesh from its initial temperature to a given temperature. A. Heating time. B. Freezing time. C. Smoking time. D. Canning time. The answer is. B. Freezing time. Variation in the proportion of fat in fishes is reflected in the percentage of water, since fat and water usually make up around what percentage of the flesh? A. 40%. B. 60%. Circa 80%. D. 70%. The answer is. Circa 80%. Bacteria that thrive best at low temperature are called a. Thermophilic bacteria b. Psychrophilic bacteria c. Mesophilic bacteria d. Facultative bacteria The answer is b. Psychrophilic bacteria The amount of fat in fish is relatively small compared to a. Pork b. Beef c. Chicken meat d. All of the above the answer is D. All of the above. Fresh fish spoilage is mainly bacterial in nature aided by A. Fungi B. Enzymatic activity C. Heat D. Mildew Answer is B. Enzymatic activity High concentration of salt will result to the development of blank in the salted fish A. Toxin B. Bitterness and brittleness. C. Pinking. D. A and C. Answer is B. Bitterness and brittleness. Spoilage rate varies from fish to fish and can be summarized to include A. Fatty fish spoil faster than lean fish. B. Small sized fish spoil faster than large fish of the same species. C. Cold water fish spoil faster than warm water fish. D. Round fish spoil faster than flat fish. E. All of the above. Answer is E. All of the above. Random routine check of salt and acid content in the end product can prevent defects in what product? A. Marinated. B. Smoked. C. Canned. D. Minced fish. Answer is A. Marinated. Spoilage process in fresh fish includes A. Breakdown of proteins. B. Gradual development if undesirable odors and flavors. C. 
softening of the flesh. D. Loss of cellular fluid containing fat and protein. E. All of the above. Answer is E. All of the above. What results to the weakening, softening and discoloration of fish tissues? A. Glycolysis. B. Autolysis. C. Decomposition. D. Degeneration. Answer is B. Autolysis. Autolysis plays an important role in spoilage of fish. A good disinfectant does not possess this property. A. Effective germicide. B. Easy to dissolve in water and low level of toxicity. C. Stable in concentrated form. D. Significantly corrode metal or plastic. Answer is D. Significantly corrode metal or plastic. It is a process which produces a commercially sterilized product that is shelf stable for several months. A. Canning. B. Smoking. C. Drying. D. Fermenting. Answer is A. Canning. Must not be handled frequently after harvest because they are very delicate, also can be held alive in seawater for considerable length of time. A. Squids. B. Lobsters. C. Crabs. D. Seaweeds. Answer is. C. Crabs. Stored carbohydrates in liver, a polysaccharide made up of glucose units. A. Enzyme. B. Alginate. C. Agar. D. Glycogen. Answer is. D. Glycogen. Bacteria whose optimum temperature is high are called. A. Thermophilic. B. Psychrophilic. C. Metaphilic. D. Facultative. Answer is. A. Thermophilic. The greatest change in chemical composition of fish is exhibited by the A. Lipid fraction. B. Fat solubility. C. Protein coagulants. D. Collagen elasticity. Answer is. A. Lipid fraction. Proteins are composed of building blocks called A. Amino acids. B. Calcium. C. Glucose. D. Triglycerides. Answer is A. Amino acids. The amount of vitamins in fish varies widely from species to species and throughout the year, and the blank of fish is particularly rich in vitamins A, B group, B1, B2. B12, and D3. A. Red meat. B. Head. C. Belly fat. D. Bones. Answer is. A. Red meat. The most common and useful way of chilling the fish catch is by. A. Refrigerating. B. Spray chilling. C. Use of dry ice. D. Wet icing. Answer is. D. Wet icing. Fish is stored in single layers, gut cavity down in a bed of ice, sometimes a little ice is spread on top. A. Shelfing. B. Filleting. C. Storage bins. D. Layering. Answer is. A. Shelfing. Essential amino acid present in fish but are lacking in cereal and root crop based diets. A. Lysine. B. Arginine. C. Methionine. D, A, and B, E, A, and C. Answer is, E, A, and C. A step in smoking leading to the preservation of fish. A, salting. B, heat treatment. C, smoke deposition. D, drying. E, all of the above. Answer is, E, all of the above. The preferred method of storing fish in ice. A, boxing. B, Bulking. C. Shelfing. D. Filleting. Answer is. A. Boxing. Fish harvested, ungutted. A. Glazed. B. Chilled. C. Fillet. D. Whole or round. Answer is. D. Whole or round. In this sensory method, the panelists are the consumers who are untrained and base their valuations primarily on their own perception of the product. A. Analytical method. B. Descriptive method. C. Systematic method. D. Acceptance or preference method. Answer is. 
D. Acceptance or Preference Method Congratulations! You just finished answering 30 questions. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more. Show your support by liking this video. Thank you.